Hey, welcome to Diary of a Makeup Artist. Um, this is going to be just kind of like a follow-up video uh, from the Neo Sci-Fi. I'm going to talk about uh, Max New Lip Exfoliator um, and also the Volcanic Ash Exfoliator for your face and uh, Solar Bits. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to show you guys kind of just like a quick little eye demo. Um, Maybe I'll do something like just a smoky eye to show you guys solar bits and just what it is and, and what it looks like. Um, I don't know if you guys can see. I'm kind of going to show the top. I don't really want it to kind of spill on me. But anyway, these are solar bits. And they're just, it's similar to um, the MAC pigments, only they're clusters. So um, they're a little bit bigger um, as far as the weight is concerned and what you want to do is you just pick up one and kind of just crush it and then uh, use it as an eyeshadow basically. So what I'm going to do because there's so many inside the pack I'm not going to put my brush directly inside there and then you really don't want to just contaminate the whole um, container. So I'm just going to kind of pull from the top of it and then you know later I can just wipe the top off or wipe it down set inside of it and it's okay so first I'm going to use my shark skin shade stick and I'm just gonna go over my eyelids with that and the shade sticks are basically just a stick eyeshadow um, they're really good bases they're a little bit drier so if you have like a lot of oils on your eyelids or you're you know always dealing um, with you know your eyeshadow creasing or by the end of the day it's gone and you just don't see it anymore it disappeared on you you might want to use um, a base and I would recommend you know using one of the shade sticks so just adding a little bit of the shade stick and this is an easy way to get a smoky eye too as you can tell it's already smoky and you know we've just done the base okay and just blending it out So it's kind of just a um, subtle wash of color if, you know, black can really be subtle. But it's nice once you blend it out. It's just very nice, very smooth, really easy. It's also another thing you can just throw in your purse, turn, you know, daytime eyeshadow into night very, very quickly. And not have to worry so much. Okay, so whenever I'm doing a smoky eye, I love to use my 224 blending brush because to me it's just like the easiest way to get a smoky eye and just like not really have to worry too much about it. Don't have to really do all these steps. Okay, so basically I'm just tapping it on the top. This is the top and there's a lot of product there. So I'm just tapping it on there and then I'm going to tap it off any excess. And the color I'm using is called Black Ore, and it's really nice. It's a dark black, but it has some kind of like um, bronzy kind of flex in there. It almost looks green to me, but there's a, a lot of gold sparkle, which is what I really like about it. Um, and let me see if I can zoom in just a little bit for you guys, because it's, it's really pretty. Okay, so that's better. Okay, so I'm just gonna blend it out very, very softly. You want to be careful because you probably will get, you know, a good amount of fallout. Um, right now, I'm doing pretty good with that, so there's not a lot of it. But again, you know, just tap on the top of it, pick up the product, and then tap it on your hand just to um, tap off any excess. And then I'll start with kind of patting it on and then just kind of going across. OK, 
Okay, so very pretty. This is really fun if you're going out to the club or, you know, you just want a little added sparkle, going to a formal event or even black tie. I mean, I would probably do it in a black tie. Like, I don't know what the rules are, but <laughs> I don't try to go by too many rules. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't try to go by a lot of rules um, when it comes to makeup just because I feel like, you know, you can wear a lot of different colors. It's all about a personal preference on what you want to wear. Okay, so blending that out. And I'm going to use a little bit of Era eyeshadow. And I'm just going to use the same brush. I'm just going to sweep that underneath my brow. And at the same time, blending down. Tapping off is what you hear me doing in the background. All right, and there you go, kids, you know, smoky eye, maybe under five minutes, depending on how much I've been talking. <laughs> All right, so moving right along, if you want it, you know, to just add a little more intensity, you can go ahead and add a black liner um, just right at the lash line and kind of smudge that out. But I have a couple other products that I kind of want to talk to you guys about. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to um, the next product. So the next product I'm going to be talking about is going to be the Prep and Prime um, Lip Refinisher or Exfoliator. And this is what it looks like. Let's see, if I, I don't know if you guys can really see. Maybe I'll zoom out a little bit so that you can see a little bit better. Okay, so this is what it is. You have one side that is your exfoliator, which is going to be this side over here. And then the other side is going to be your lip conditioner. So, um, basically um, the way that you want to use it is you don't really want to do this side just by itself and then do the conditioner the way that it's meant to be done is and let me zoom out just a little bit more okay so the way you want to do it is just go across your lip just like you would you know just a lip balm or anything you just want to go across your lip that way now you can go that way or you can do it in little circular motions like that. Okay. Simple. Then you just want to take just like they say a wet cloth, but I don't really have a wet cloth right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and lick my lips and then just wipe it. And this will help get rid of any dead skin or just, you know, dry skin uh, on your lip. And then you can go ahead and follow up with a lip conditioner, which is what I'm going to do here. Just my strobe lip conditioner. And that way it goes on a lot smoother. Um, your lips feel better and you get rid of that dead skin because nobody wants to walk around with chap lips or anything like that. So that's pretty much what it is to this product and you want to use it probably about two to three times a week um just like you would just a regular um facial exfoliator and basically it can just be part of your skincare regimen you know that you do um on a daily basis and two to three times a week okay 